Hello students, in this video I am going to demonstrate how to do the XID data analysis using MDI JDA software. This is the part 2 of this video. The aim of this video is to do the page identification using ICDD database. Ok, so let's start the procedure. So first of all I am going to open the MDI JDA software. So uh, let me reload my data. So you go to the pattern and uh, this is desktop so mdij is there yeah so this is my data okay so what i'm going to do to the quantitative phase analysis i am going to first analyze find picks so let me apply for the picks and uh, if some pick is not there you know that you need to do this one you need to click it here add picks and um, another pick is there so here i can add right so the number you can see the report here so all the picks are available okay so here we have basically the most important thing is phase identification is the d spacings two theta values that is the most important part okay so you can copy this data so let me close this so what we got here we got all the peak positions okay and peak fw which uh, peak area means uh, peak only we got the peak positions here so you go to the pdf option so what i have done here i have uh, uh, this pdf database with me and i have go i am going for a chemistry search so my sample is bismuth ferrite so i'll click bismuth so this is iron so this is oxygen is there okay so here there are different patterns i have this following data so i will saw this icdd iac sd pattern okay so let me do this um, yeah so let me go for okay right so if you see uh, you can have uh, uh, here i wrote my i prepared my sample bismuth ferrite so i wrote in the chemical composition for bismuth ferrite so you can see various options are available and i am looking for this one right so if you see uh, let me okay so let if you press the d here right so vertical yeah so you do click here bismuth ferrite and add it okay so if you add it you can see this is the bismuth ferrite phase and this is your own page so they are basically matching okay this is the experimental this is theoretical so mostly they are matching right so yeah so you can see that this data is confirmed to the bismuth ferrite data right so this blue line and this experimental data they are matching so this is the i confirm that this is the phase identification is complete and what you can see here more you can see the card right so if you see the card uh, you can see all this uh, line graphs right so there are different lines all these patterns are available this is a theoretical data so your theoretical data is basically matching to this um, experimental data so this is icsd minerals okay so you, you can select all others also so like this uh, you can see there are various other uh, what you can do you can see bi2 fe409 is one of the most pyrochloro that basically appears so you can also add it and you can see that um, which phases are coming or not uh, let me do that yeah so you can verify all other phases it is means uh, like this you can see all other phases are coming or not okay and here you see there are two phases available right so like this you can identify the phase you can basically this is the search match procedure and this will help you to identify the page presence in the sample okay and if you have any comments you can post it in the chat box and i'll be very much happy to answer your question thank you